Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl, and welcome back to probably the best day to snag deals online. It's of course the best Amazon Prime deals of 2021. Unfortunately, here in Canada, Prime Day was canceled because of COVID, but thankfully, if you just order from amazon.com, if you're in the US, which I think most of you are, these deals do apply. And I feel that Prime Day is slightly better than say Black Friday or any other day of the year to snag some tech deals specifically. We'll start off with the thing that you see beside me first. This is the Nebula Cosmos Max. And a lot of you know that I am a big fan of 4K projectors and if there is one to recommend, this one would definitely be on my radar. So the deal is really specific here. It actually runs from tomorrow, the second day of Prime Day. This will go on sale for 30% off, usually $60.99. You can snag it for just under 1200 bucks. And for what you're getting, it's actually pretty impressive. You can get a 4K image up to 150 inches you get 1500 lumens, which is actually really bright for a projector of this size. And I've actually been crushing all of the Euro Cup games with this projector. And yes, I would say the best viewing experience is at night, but you can still get by during the day. I know most of the games here on the East Coast are around noon time to around 3 p.m. So no problems with this. And the thing that I love about the Cosmos Max compared to other projectors, which tend to have really bad sound output, if you take a look around, we've got 360 degrees of speakers. You get the full Dolby Digital Plus cinema sound. And of course, the big benefit of going to the projector game is the screen real estate size. So up to 150 inches, like I mentioned, I was personally running it on a 100 inch screen with no problem. You get access to over 5,000 apps, Hulu Plus, Netflix, all the great streaming ones, Android TV 9.0 built in. Of course, I've mentioned that I'm just crushing Euro soccer on this, a full cinema experience. And if you guys were still eyeing a projector, this is probably the best one to get for the money right now. Moving on to the next deals, and of course, because this is Prime Day, Amazon will favorite all of their hardware stuff. This is no different. So for example, the new Fire HD 10 tablet, you can save 47% off. So normally 150 bucks, you can snag one for only 80. I think these ones are great for content consumption. So watching, this one's got the example of the Mandalorian playing your simple mobile game. I think this is a great tablet for only 80 bucks. We have an Insignia Fire TV. So a 32 inch TV for only $120. So that's 40% off. And it's just crazy to think how cheap a 32 inch screen is these days. When I was, I think in school, I paid 1500 bucks for a 32 inch or so taking an extra zero off 40% off. That is a slick, slick deal. If you're looking for a better TV, my main recommendation is always to still grab the previous year model. They're very, very similar. I don't think TV tech really changes year to year. So for example, the Sony X900, you can grab the 2020 model for 31% off. And that's for an 85 incher. That's absolutely massive. If you go down in size, you can see you still get, oh, no savings. So yeah, I guess now you just gotta go big or go home. $17.99 for an 85 inch TV. I think that's a solid deal. Switching on to some home tech, and I know that's become super popular lately, and big shout outs to EnviroCleanse for being one of today's video sponsors. Air purifiers, I kind of see them everywhere. My gym has one, my condo has one. This is no different for your own home. So this one is 20% off for Prime Day. So this one normally $6.99, you can grab this for around 560 bucks, so that's a pretty solid deal. And if you're worried about air particulates, bacteria floating around, it helps get rid of airborne toxins, it helps a ton with allergies, which I know this season was really bad for. These aren't just great for your home, but I know a lot of people are starting to go back to the office, back to the workplace. So these are great little systems just to keep things, you know, nice, clean. I know that's super important. So that is a solid Prime Day deal. Onto some more home tech stuff to kind of round that up and we'll kind of keep it in the cleanliness game. This is the iRobot Roomba vacuums. So there's a couple different ones that you can snag. The simplest one, you can save 33% off. So normally $299 for $199 if you want the i6 Plus. That's the one that I actually have here for the studio. That's 30% off. So normally $799, I know a bit pricey. You can snag that for just around 500 bucks. If you're looking to grab the two-in-one mop, that's 40% off. So yeah, just cool little home tech stuff to keep your studio or your home clean. Last piece of home tech. My roomie kind of swears by this thing. It is a air fryer. He uses it almost every single day and it's so much healthier than a deep fryer. It essentially fries things with air. It just kind of, 
I think dehydrates the item or dehydrates the food. So if you were eyeing one, you can see all of the great reviews on Amazon. It's 30% off right now. So that's my healthy pick for everyone. Back onto the tech side, these are 20% off for most computer monitors. So I will kind of go through my favorite ones. This HP 27 incher, nothing crazy. It's 1080p, it doesn't have a higher refresh rate, but 131 bucks, 25% off. If you're looking for a 4K monitor, this LG Ultrafine is great. So 16 percent off right now at $380. If you want something with a faster refresh rate, you can see 144 hertz refresh rate, one mil response time. So if you are into the gaming scene, this would probably be my pick for everyone. Over onto the gaming monitor specific one, you can see there's a bunch of different deals. And the nice thing, these don't really expire in a set amount of time, like four or five hours. These will be available all throughout Prime Day. So kind of pick the one that fits into your budget. You've got the larger LG 27 inches for around 300 bucks. The cheapest one here I see is the Acer Nitro, which I think is a great one for around 170 bucks. Or if you really wanna go true baller, some of the more expensive monitors, 300 bucks for this one from Scepter, or even the 27 inch Ultra Gear from LG, which is actually currently what I've got rocked over on this corner, my little gaming hub setup area. Speaking of Samsung, I honestly didn't find too many great smartphone deals except for the Samsung S20 models. So I know these are from say last year, but even the S20 FE, which I think MKBHD named the smartphone of the year. So normally 700 bucks, you can snag that for $479. That's just over 30%, and I know this model comes in all of the different cool colorways. So the S21 Ultra models, for example, those are still a bit pricey. They're under the $1,000 mark. You're still at least saving 25%, so this one's 925 bucks. But like I said, and that applies for most tech in general, the best kind of savings are if you get last year's model, and if you kind of do the research, you know that really not too much has changed in a year. Moving on over to some smartwatches. So I've been trying to up my fitness game because I've been slacking a lot lately, or I guess the past year. So the Garmin smartwatch, I think is still one of the industry standards if you're really into hardcore fitness, not just basic stuff like the Apple Watch. So right now those are for 30% off. The Garmin Forerunner, I think, which is a pretty big favorite right now, that's the one that I would snag, so. Like I said, 30% off. Back to some gaming accessories. And I think in this segment, this is some of the best deals that I've seen. So Razer is doing a huge 50% off on most of their accessories. So if you've been eyeing some of those accessory upgrades, no better time. For example, the Death Adder, you can get that for 60% off. That is a solid gaming mouse for only 20 bucks. You know, if you're looking to go full wireless, for example, the Basilisk right now, it's still 42% off under $100, which is the first time that I've seen. So they're gaming keyboards, both of these which I've used, the Sinosa, 39 bucks, that's 33% off, or even the Huntsman, which I think is gaming kind of standard, $79. So I think Razer is offering some great deals. You can kind of see two different pages. So I think these ones will definitely sell really well. Chromebooks, which still kind of hold a special place in my heart. There weren't as many good deals this year, except for say this one, the first one, it's the Acer Spin. So that's 55% off, so only 224 bucks. The rest of them are around 20% off. I think spending around 200 bucks is a great spot for a Chromebook. Moving on to some headphones, and just like the Razer deals, which were around 50% off, these Sony headphones are probably the best value that you can currently get for them. For example, the industry standard, the WH-1000 Mark IVs, the best noise canceling headphones, over the ear headphones that you can get 30% off. Typically guys, these don't really go on sale. So if you've been on the fence, there is no better time to snag one. I did include the pair of Boses, which also pretty decent noise canceling, maybe not as good as the Sony's, but they are a better deal. Right now these are 43% off, so 229 bucks. I'd honestly still pick the Sony's. And the very last deal that I'll throw into this video, I include them in every one of my deal videos because this is the time when I always buy my SD cards. No better time, around 50% off. This one in specific, the SanDisk 256 gig, this is actually what I'm recording this video on right now. Works with 4K and like I said, it's a solid deal. 
you can't really beat that pricing. And yeah, that's kind of the end of the best Amazon Prime deals. So if you guys kind of see any more, make sure you leave them down below in the comments. I know Prime deals kind of go really quick. So everything we've mentioned is listed down below in the description. Kind of sucks that Canada didn't get included this year. Maybe if you're around the world, they also might have got canceled. And hopefully just depending on where you are in Toronto, say specifically, I know that we're kind of breaking out of lockdown, beginning a bit of a new normal. So depending where you are, hopefully you're staying safe. Hopefully you snagged a sweet deal and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.